Do you think you're good looking? <laughs> I don't really understand the question. OK. <laughs> Be upstanding, ladies and gentlemen, for the wedding of Janet Street Porter to herself. Bridesmaid. <laughs> 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 me, bridesmaid. <laughs> you drew the short straw with that outfit. You picked my bridesmaid, sir. No, no, I've never had a bridesmaid. <laughs> you know, if I ever get married again... Can I be a bridesmaid? You can. I'm you not can. wearing that. <laughs> I now pronounce you married to yourself. <laughs> Are you still married? <laughs> I'm not married, married at yourself. the moment. Oh, am I still married to myself? Yeah, Where's must the divorce be. certificate? Yeah. I don't know. I burnt my last divorce certificate in Las Vegas. I went back to where I got married and I went outside the wedding chapel and got down on all fours and burnt it and told people in the queue not to get married. And oh, then they called the police. That's right. Do you want to play shit? Don't show your teeth. Oh, oh we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Has your head ever been turned? <laughs> In a full circle. <laughs> Every day. That makes me sound like... Um, the exorcist. Uh, the exorcist, <laughs> exactly. That's what I was Thank getting you at, very Janet. much for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, you go through life, it's natural. Yeah. You, you go on the underground, you walk down the street, you see people... That, you say, oh, he's fit, yeah. or, you know. <laughs> yeah. I've still got a pulse. Like, I have to say, these are stunt tomatoes because they're not your actual no, tomatoes. No, they're horrible looking to them. They're anemic. <laughs> so, fridge or not in the fridge? Not fridge. No. Not fridge, Brenda. Oh, OK. <laughs> Brenda. Why not? They've got to develop a flavour and become right. Well, back in the late 1960s, it might have been the early 1970s, the police raided my home and found a small piece of cannabis the size of my entire fingernail and I appeared in court and was given a £5 fine. Now, I All suppose that means is. that I am not worthy of coming round and cleaning your toilet, sort of like, but it's it's been, <laughs> I'm slightly obsessed with vegan sausage rolls because I've never eaten a vegan sausage roll. I haven't, actually. Like, oh, my goodness! <laughs> there we go. So that, that's vegan and that one's, that one's not. That one's not, Brenda. No, that's I've, steak. Yeah. I've, never, steak. Steak. I've like never eaten steak. anything from Greg's. So oh. this is a wild first. You haven't lived. You haven't lived. <laughs> I know, because as the high street is in decline and we're hearing all these horror stories, Greg's have turned their business round and their share price has soared all because of a vegan sausage roll. Oh, Brenda can't speak. <laughs> Are you going to feed that to your kittens later? <laughs> Just ask me. Add a bite. See what you think. I've got hot sauce with it. That's Not that much. Sauce. I've got all right, I'll just rub a bit off. Oh, no, really come on. Mmm. Is it nice? Well, the hot sauce is fantastic. <laughs> I'm just intrigued as to, to what this has got well, to I'm do got with... Well, I've got to the filling, the... I'm getting through the pastry. OK. Can what I just remove to... the pastry? Because not that I'm... Right. ...figure conscious. I want to feel what vegan meats taste like. I'm just going to... I mean, right I don't now. know what this got to do with poor Hollywood and Israel. <laughs> no! No! As part of my rehabilitation um, of Janet, you know, nice, positive, smiley Janet, who <clears> talks <throat> to people she doesn't know, I'm limiting the number of things that get me in a bad mood. And at the moment, I'm walking uh, part of the way to work along a canal towpath. Yeah. So I'd like to say what gets me in a really bad mood every morning are cyclists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, a towpath is a shared space. I there are you. women with baby buggers, yep. uh, buggies. <laughs> there are... <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> there are uh, joggers. Yeah. <clears throat> Some joggers have their elbows out more mm. than others. But the people that really get on my nerves are the cyclists that are whiz up behind you and haven't <clears throat> got a bell. <laughs> but I hear you. I hear when in our old studios where we used to yeah. live, work, whatever. Um, I used to commute and walk in from from Vauxhall. So I totally hear what you're saying with that. Yeah. Cyclists come from behind you, and then they're right there. Or you're going <laughs> under a, a canal bridge, and it's mm. a very confined space. And then you hear. Bing, 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 bing. And I said to one yesterday, what do you want me to do? Get in the canal! <laughs> well, I've got two problems with this initiative, if that's the right word. One is that they have called it Jiggle Wiggle. <laughs> How did I 
Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's called Jiggle Wiggle. I'm still trying to work it Are out. Are you still Jiggle Wiggling, Janet? <laughs> I'm going to confess that recently I came into work and call me Petty. Petty. I counted the number of pictures on the corridor between the front door and my dressing room that I was in. <laughs> True story, by the way. This is a true story. And I counted, and there was only one proper picture of me, and there was one which I was hidden behind somebody else. And all these ladies, and in fact, all the other ladies, had more pictures than me. And I was in a bad mood anyway, because it was early in the morning. It's and not I like you, Janet. Yeah. I was... <laughs> Do you know what? It's like Morecambe and Wise, I just give her the lines. <laughs> I went in some work. I think I love every time. I had it with this building. Why have you all got more pictures than me when we're all supposed to be the same? So the next day, this is what I encountered. They doctored every single picture <laughs> on the corridor. <laughs> it's so brilliant! <laughs> I mean, every picture. <laughs> oh, well, those. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> what viewers at home never saw was what happened in the studio. Uh, we had to do loads and loads of apologising <laughs> to that woman who had the misfortune to be sitting in the front row as I just hold them <laughs> like I was doing Olympic shot put. I remember Whoa! it. She got hit by a sprout. Full face sprout. <laughs> I'd like to apologise to that lady that I hit with a sprout. Janet and Brenda have some beautiful dishes oh, in, in front of them. Would you like to reveal how well your tomatoes are going? Janet, if you would like to go first. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful effort. Those are, I think they're called Red Ruby. They, they're a very dark heritage tomato. They're not quite ready yet, but okay. there they go. I think I'd win a prize with those. Brenda, Brenda? what have you got? <laughs> now, Brenda. These are juicy. <laughs> These are juicy. <laughs> <laughs> These are very juicy tomatoes. Brenda! What, what have I done? These are lovely, They're on aren't a they? vine, right? Yeah, my vine. You are a complete charlatan. <gasps> Look what I found earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obliterating the name of the supermarket. <laughs> I think they are classic vine tomatoes. <laughs> a few years ago, for uh, um, Channel 4, I made a series of Gordon Ramsay called The F Word and I got sent to Germany to a farm where they were breeding camels because camel milk was thin. <laughs> Bill, Give us a hit. Give us a hit. No, I'm going to drink it. Oh, I won't it. drink it if you drink it. No. <laughs> no, only because I want to drink it first out of the bottle for health reasons. <laughs> What's it taste like? Oh, nothing. Janet. Don't believe it's breast milk. It tastes but all right. It's, it's, it's not actually breast milk. No, it tastes like horrible school milk. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you were at school it? and it'd be the social... It's not breast milk. <laughs> I can... Like... It just tastes like milk. We just wanted to test you. Well, I would. I'm would... getting paid, so I'm doing... <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't getting paid... <laughs> by the way, I can share this is with the audience. I'd do anything for money, including <laughs> drinking fake milk on television. I've got a question to ask you. What? May I have your handbags when you snuff it? No, I already, well, asked, I already asked Janet. You know this. I get I, first in the I want her handbags. Right, well, you can all just hold your horses. Number <laughs> one, even though I'm not taking Gloria's lorry load of pills, I am going to live to be 100. <laughs> and number two, when I go, there is going to be no funeral. <laughs> One oh. day I'll be here, the next day I'll be incinerated, and then I'm going to have a party. It's in my will. Massive party. Play your cards for out. You can get invited. Now, <laughs> I don't, now I don't want the clothes. I just don't want you to go anywhere. Oh, OK. <laughs> right, OK. Right, all right. I've got to get in the groove. I was feeling with my heart, boys, feeling free when I got a call from the BBC. They knew that I was stupid, Fred. They wanted me, and in the flesh. Now listen up, because this is the truth. They put an old fart like me in charge of you. It's the truth, it's the truth. Silly old me. All right, let's forget it. <laughs>
we're, we're actually quite lucky to have Janet with us because... <laughs> oh, my God, this is getting really good. That's another insult from you. <laughs> Watching. That's two <laughs> insults from the very lovely well, Ruth Langford. Have you, <laughs> <laughs> you heard of these now, things not? called death date calculators? Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, they're online. So I just thought out of interest, <laughs> just, put, just put Janet's details. And you just have to put, you know, like, height, weight, where you live, <laughs> age, OK? And your death date yeah. is the 13th of May, 2012. <laughs> 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 Hologram, I, I was cloned back I knew, in the day. I knew you're paying for this <laughs> after the show. Oh, oh that's made my day. You're doing yeah, no. <laughs> no, because you're a walking miracle. <laughs> <laughs>